<laughs> so, where is this puzzle we're trying to get to? This muscle attaches itself <laughs> here on the top part of your hip bone, yeah, right here, and then attaches to all the transverse processes of your lumbar spine and to the 12 ribs. So when you take an inhale, this muscle even tones in order to pull the rib down to create more space. So it's initiating the inhalation or the inspiration. Ooh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. And there will be the picture on the wall where you can see the muscle. <laughs> where is it? In the video. But also know there are a lot of other layers on top. So the QL is the deepest one. Yeah, so the erector spinae, there's a lot of, it's very busy here. You have lots of muscles on top. So stay high on your fingertips with your torso lifted at first. Yeah, so a couple pointers always to make pigeon pose stable and um, good aligned from the get-go is that your knee is right behind your sitting bone. You can move your knee even a little bit more to the midline of your foot right behind your knee. And you can see the very active feet in both of them. They're pushing the little toe side so much into the floor that the heel actually rises. That will protect the front knee. Yeah, because we want to stretch the hips, not the knees. Good. So you push your back knee strongly into the floor, the little toe set of your front foot into the floor, and then see if you can just muscular, muscularize, <laughs> muscularize your leg muscles a lot. To tone them. Mm -hmm. Now walk your hands a little bit further forward, like two or three inches. Good. And again, breathe here into your back body, the lower ribs. You can keep your head up a little more. And as you exhale, lift your low belly as far away from the floor, even at your front hip bone, you start to move away from your front body. Now walk your hands over towards the right. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We're going to get into this part of your body again. So you can press your hands into the floor. And then again, as you lift your low belly, now also scoop your tailbone under more to bring stretch into this part of your body. This might be your version for today, or you can even see if you can lower down your left forearm to the floor. There you go, pushing your right hand into the earth. So it doesn't have to be, you don't have to get your torso very low. You rather want to create the lift. Nice. Sometimes so what happens now is that your back foot wants to turn to the outside. So visualize my leg on your left inner shin and squeeze your shin towards my imaginary shin. That will keep your back hip in alignment. Two more breaths. Inhale into your back body. As you exhale, lift your low belly away from the floor or your front thigh. Same thing. Nice. And come on up. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Switch sides. Nice. So how far you can get your foot forward is being determined by your outer hip rotator muscle. So if they're a little bit tighter, the foot will end up more underneath the groin and then you leave it there. Again, align with what's present in your body today. Walk your hands slightly further forward. Good. Tone your leg muscles, everything you can find. Make it strong. Good. Squeeze your right chin towards the midline. Mm -hmm. And then guide your awareness back to your back body. Can you create more space in your lower rib cage? Good. As you exhale again, the lower belly keeps moving towards your spine. Walk your hands over towards your left knee. Sweet. Like you did in all these poses, you utilize your hands to press into the floor so that the hip bones that will help you to move away from the floor, low belly rises. Good. Every time you inhale, you get another invitation to create the expansion from within. Mm -hmm. And then start maybe walking your left hand further over or let your left forearm come down to the floor. Four. There. <laughs> right forearm. Thank you. We're being all smart pants. I said I, I was, not you. Perfect. <laughs> so, one more time, breathe into your back body and then lift the low belly up away from the floor. 
Nice. And see how they keep the back leg stable. Yeah? Nice. Good. So I think there was almost the same amount of time here. Walk your hands back. Go back to downward facing dog. And you're going to have also now blocks available. If your hips are tighter, check out Christy's version over here. So you see sitting on a block or a blanket, you may have to elevate the hips. This will help your low back to stay healthy and happy in this posture because one leg will be straight. So you can already extend your right leg. Mm -hmm. The left foot will be on a block. So Debbie will represent the person with more open hips, so you can then turn the block around even more so your entire foot is on the block. There you go. Sweet. So I'm going to try to block a little bit more. And here it's important so that you flex your foot like at a 90 degree angle like you would stand on the floor. And like you did in that pigeon pose, push the little toe side of that foot really strongly into the block. The heel is probably not going to lift, you just do the action. And at first place your hands behind you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. Strengthen your legs like you did in all these standing poses. Also here now while, you, while you're seated. Good. Once again, breathe your, bring your awareness to your back body on an inhalation. And then contract your front body, the lower belly, on an exhalation. Good. Then start twisting over your front leg, the right leg, and start walking your hands forward. So some of you might be able to just get the forearm or the wrist onto the edge of the block or into the sole of the foot. Good. Or, if your body allows, try to get the elbow, or some of you maybe even shoulders, I've seen that too, I can't do it, but there you go, <laughs> on the inside. Utilize the, you want to even push your foot a little bit into your arm there. Good. So now everything you've done so far will apply here again to strong legs. Every time you inhale, you expand. And then keep this expansion as you exhale, pull the front to the back. Nice. Yeah, and you can see how they start twisting over their front leg. Nice, and then you can walk your right hand a little bit more forward, especially if you bow forward more so the right side body can follow. Nice. So, if your hips are a little bit on the stronger side, you may want to stay in this version that Christy is showing here. Or, you can move now your left hand to the inside of your right foot. Grab the big toe side. Mm -hmm. Keep your right hand on the floor and then get really, really, really long. Good. Can even let the side body come down now more too. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And here it's totally okay if your thoracic spine rounds and your head is coming down. Low back is safe. Everybody is happy. <laughs> Two more breaths. If at any point there might be some low back tension or sharp pain showing up in your low back, please come on out of the pose. Your body is trying to tell you that you might go too deep. Cool. On your next inhalation, come on back up. Place your hands behind you. Sit up tall. And then release the foot. Switch sides. Usually, I, after this practice, I feel like an inch or two, two taller. But it doesn't stay. <laughs> <laughs> next day, I'm just again five foot. Mm -hmm. One and a half, you have a good half an inch away from you. <laughs> so, front leg straight, place your hands behind you. So, we want to support the low back first. Yeah. Tone your legs. Mm -hmm. And you can see they're really at the feet already. So, the little toe side pushes into the floor, which stabilizes the outer shin muscles. So, therefore, this knee is stable because we want to get into the outer hips and the QL and don't stress the knee. Yeah. So, then start to bow forward and find the version that works for this side. Forearm, wrist, elbow, shoulder. Let the decision be made by the length of your muscles, not your ambitious mind, very important. <laughs> <laughs> then again, bring your awareness here to the back body. Fill the right side of the back body on an inhalation and then respond with the front body. You know what to do right now, I've been talking about it for an hour. And the more the torso comes forward, the more your left hand can come forward too, but keep pressing it into the left or into the floor at first. Once you reach with your right hand to the inner edge of your right foot, it may make sense to hold on to the foot with both hands. See if you, you can again trust your own intelligence there, see what feels good or stable. <laughs> Beautiful.
two more breath. Inhale, back body expands. Exhale, support the back body by pulling your navel to the spine. With your next inhalation, come on slowly up. And then as you exhale, place your hands behind you. And then inhale, lift your chest and make your inner body right long. Release the foot. Remove the block. And please lay on your back. 